Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to give you a short overview of how to use Wakelet. Wakelet has become quite a popular digital sticky note service or corkboard service in the last year, and I want to give you a quick overview of how it works. So let's go ahead and I'm going to sign in, and here's my account, and let's go and create a collection. Now, collections can include just about anything that you want to have them include. They can be simple notes, they can be pictures, they can be links to videos, they can be bookmarks. Whatever you want to put, you can put into your Wakelet board. Now, let's go and change the background and we can choose from a library of pictures, which is everything on Unsplash. Unsplash is a source of public domain pictures. I'll just use the first one that comes up here. That'll be my background. And we can add a cover image if we want. And again, we can upload a picture or choose from the library. Maybe I want a picture of a puppy. So I'll do my quick puppy search. Use that one. Great. Now, let's title this collection. And we'll say, Things we like to do in the summer. And just say share something you like to do in the summer. Pretty self-explanatory. Now that part's pretty easy to figure out. And we'll just go in here and put in our first item. And in this case, I might go in and again put in a picture and choose from the library. I like to go fly fishing. So there we have a picture. And I'm going to add in my image or image credit or caption. And we'll save that. Now, you may have noticed that when I was adding an item, I also had the option to just write text, link to a YouTube video, link to tweets, put in bookmarks, images, PDFs, or even pull something from my Google Drive account. And in this case here, I might just simply write in, I like to go mountain biking. And with that mountain biking, I can even say things like, I ride a Santa Cruz mountain bike. And I can now highlight that and link to the website for Santa Cruz bicycles. And save it. Now, I want to invite people to collaborate on this with me. And to do that, let's go up here to the upper right hand corner and select, in this case, unlisted. Now, when I save this, I'll have a link for it and I can now select manage contributors and choose via shareable link or code copy that link and give it to my collaborator and my collaborator can be anonymous could be bob the builder and that collaborator will be able to now go in and hit that plus symbol and say something like, I like to go swimming. Now I'll close out that visitor. And as the original creator of this collection, let's refresh it. And when it refreshes, we'll see the new items that appear. 
I like to go swimming from Bob the Builder. Now, with this collection, if Bob the Builder had written something inappropriate or I don't want Bob the Builder in here anymore, you can select Manage the Contributor and I can remove that contributor. You can see here I can also invite people via email. Now, if I just simply wanted to share the wall and not let people write on it, or share the collection and not let people write on it, I just hit this share button here. And you can see I have a link that I can distribute. I can post it directly to Google Classroom if I want, or any of the other channels you see listed there. Now, finally, when I edit this collection, I can go in and I can change that background. I can make this fully public for anyone to discover. I can also take it back and make it private if I want. I can also change the way that it's laid out. And so now I have this tile view instead of that linear view. I can also do this compact view. It'll just give me that little thumbnail and then the text next to it. So that's a short overview of how you can get started using Wakelet to create collections of your favorite bookmarks, pictures, videos, or just about anything else you can think of. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.